how can you be braver? And what does it take for you to level up in your association? A psychologist called William James once said, most people live in a very restricted circle of their full potential. We cannot know what it is we could have done if we stick with what's comfortable for us, if we don't challenge our own boundaries. And so I'm going to share with you a really simple framework. And I encourage you, if you've got a piece of paper in front of you, just to draw it down, because it helps you embed it and remember it in your own head. But it's, here it is. It's basically you at your best, you rising into your potential, happens when you can align, one, what you're focused on. What are you focused on achieving? Are you focused on what you feel most inspired to do, what you're called to do, your big why? Are you focused on the resources you do have or the ones you don't have? Are you focused on lifting up the people around you and the mission that you're trying to serve? Or are you focused on what's wrong and what's missing and what you're afraid might happen versus what you want to make happen? Secondly, the mindset that you have, which is really around the stories that you're telling yourself. What's the stories that you're living in about what you can do and what you can't do in your own team, in the industry, in your life outside of your work too? Because our lives are one big indivisible whole. So as you listen to me today, of course I'm here to help you lead more courageously in your association, in your business. But I'm here to help you show up in the world in a bigger way, in a braver way, in a better way, because man, you don't have to look very far to see that this world right now needs your courage, not your perfection. It needs you to show up as the person you could be, and that starts by challenging the story that you've got about who you are and what you can do. And finally, it's about you taking action, actually taking a risk. You might fall short. You might make mistakes. Things may not go the way you'd like them to go. But what is it costing you? What do you put at risk when you don't? So what is it that distinguishes the most successful people and teams and organizations from those that aren't? What helps people be more competitive to advance further, to make more progress. It's not that they just got lucky, it's not, you know, right place, right time. Sure, all those things can factor in. It's actually really because they're focused on the right things, they're living in belief systems that support action, and they're willing to take action. That fortune favors the brave. <laughs>